One of the biggest names in motorsport is backing an RAF pilot's world record attempt. Wing Commander Andy Green hopes to pilot the Bloodhound supersonic car to more than a thousand miles an hour. Will Inglis went to Cosworth's factory in Northampton to find out how they fit in. Cosworth engines are usually associated with Formula One. This one's been built for Marussia Virgin to run in the Australian Grand Prix. Now a modified version is going into this, the Bloodhound supersonic car. This is a Formula One engine and traditionally Formula One is seen as the peak of motorsport. To give you an idea of the scale of the challenge of Bloodhound, in this environment it's going to be a fuel pump predominantly to fuel the rocket. Getting the car to a thousand miles an hour means pumping a ton of fuel in just 20 seconds for the specially designed rocket motor which will work in tandem with the engine from a Eurofighter Typhoon jet. It's a hybrid rocket, uh, it's the largest ever fired in Europe and uh, the hybrid technology isn't very well known and it's believed that there are going to be some very valuable defence uh, spin-offs from the, uh, the rocket programme. Piloting it at a thousand miles an hour will take nerves of steel and lightning reactions. And that is how you drive a supersonic car. It's not actually that difficult. Now this simulator is all part of the Bloodhound project, trying to reach out to young people and get them interested in engineering. The idea really is that firms like Cosworth and indeed the Ministry of Defence can benefit from getting young people into engineering. It's that educational dimension to Bloodhound that ties in with Cosworth's other defence work. Both Cosworth for projects like this and the MOD for the designs of tomorrow need people that are prepared to a, a do work which is outside anything that can be found in the textbooks. Test firing of the Formula One powered rocket is due to start on a range in the UK this summer with runway tests of the whole car to follow. Will Inglis, Forces News, Northampton.